Hola, ¿cómo están? Yo soy Yuya. Hey guys, look. I cut my hair. Do I look good? It's just like 20 soles, which is six dollars. Oh, I don't have hair here. What happened? I think I cut this part whenever I was little. That's why I don't have hair here. But okay, anyways. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make one of the traditional Japanese snacks. Today, we're gonna make it's called mitarashi dango. Mitarashi is one type of the sauce that we put on top of the dango. Well, anyways, let's start. Entonces, vamos. So what we need for dango are this dango powder and dango powder has sticky rice powder and normal rice powder so it's like blended you just need this and water to make dango to make the mitarashi sauce you need sugar cornstarch soy sauce and a little bit of water so you pour 200 grams of dango powder and you pour 140 milliliter of water and you mix it until it becomes one we want the softness of this part of your ear so now we're gonna make it a round shape it's like touching a play-doh okay now finished ready to boil them so now you will boil them and wait until they started to float and mix a little bit so they won't stick together when they started to float wait another two or three minutes after you finish boiling the dangos you drain the water and put the dangos inside a cold water to make it cool down so after you cool down the dangos this time i want to make it like a traditional dango on a stick so i bought a skewer and i think this is a little yeah. bit too long so i'll just break it in half and then i'll stick the dangos maybe i can put three dangos like this finish putting them on a stick whenever i buy dangos it looks like they are grilling the dangos so i'll see if i can make it like them hopefully i can do it good i'll get one dango I think it was a bad idea that I cut the stick so short that this is going to burn my fingers. So, plan B. I stick an extra long stick to the dango so I can do it like this. And I think the heat is too low. 2000 years later. Okay, this is gonna take time. I'm gonna use the higher heat. Is this working? It kind of worked. Okay, so to make the mitarashi sauce, you put some water and some soy sauce some sugar and then you put some cornstarch let's put this on the heat why not the gas is gonna be gone guys luckily my girlfriend called the gas guy and he brought the gas so now we can continue but now mix it until the cornstarch started to react hopefully the amount of the cornstarch that I put is enough guys I wanted to have this thickness perfect I'll just turn it off and make it cool down to finish it we need to put the dango inside the mitarashi sauce and dip it and I want my girlfriend to taste it but since she's already sleeping she's gonna taste it tomorrow guys I told you that I'm gonna do it the next day actually two days passed since I make these dangos, I forgot them and it was in the refrigerator and now look <laughs> It's super hard, yeah The mitarashi sauce, it's, it's like a jello now But this, if I just heat it up, it'll be a little bit more liquefied and I think I can use it for a dip These dangos I googled and see if I can recover them and this says that if I steam them, they'll be soft again. So, I'll just put them like this. Put it here and I'll put the lid. Nope. Hmm, okay, there's a problem now. Okay, my girlfriend was more smarter than me. This was too small. I'll use this big one so I can lay them like this. The lid and we're gonna steam them and see what will happen and let's wait for maybe like a couple of minutes guys i succeedingly made them soft again i heated up the mitarashi sauce for the finishing touch dip oh them good it really looks like the one that you see in the anime. store or anime yeah 
<laughs> Look at how much she ate just a little bite. I'm scared. But I think it's enough to say something. I thought it would be worse. This one tastes like one kind of mochi that I tried in Chinatown. For me, it's a... Are you sleeping? <laughs> well, I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, okay, five. Hey guys, so today I show you how to make mitarashi dango. For me, it tastes really like the real mitarashi dango that I used to buy in Japan. Dango is very, very traditional Japanese sweet. So I think they were already invented long, long time ago since the samurai was still alive. Like that long, long time ago. So I hope you guys will have a chance to eat dango. Anyways, this is all for today. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video in Tosis. Ciao!